Aisha Tandon and I'm the science journalist at Carbon Brief, which is a climate journalism and analysis group based in the UK. My job as a climate journalist is to report the science of climate change in a way that the general public and government can understand. So at Carbon Brief we tend to focus on climate change reporting through energy, policy and science. After my GCSEs, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, and so I chose to study the International Baccalaureate, IB, instead of A-levels to give myself more options. And at university, I did the exact same thing. I chose to study Natural Sciences, a degree that allows you to combine all of the sciences and maths and computing in your first year, and then narrow down as you go along. During that time, I really enjoyed writing, so I got really stuck into various societies at the university, and I eventually became an editor for the science section of the university newspaper. I only started to become interested in climate science in the third year of university. I was very lucky that I was at the University of Exeter, which is right next door to the UK Met Office. And so in the summer between my third and fourth years of university, I just took a shot and sent in a completely off the wall application to the Met Office um, to work in a team called Knowledge Integration. After that three-month internship, I was really lucky that I was able to stay on one day per week working at the Met Office and I got a full-time job there after graduating. In the summer that I graduated in 2019, I also did an internship at Carbon Brief and I really loved it. And so in October of 2020, a position opened up at Carbon Brief and I decided to apply for it and was very fortunate that I got it. Without the work of good communications teams and journalists, it can be really hard to keep on top of climate science. And so that's why I think journalism is really important. It makes the issues relevant and it opens them up to a whole range of people who otherwise would have no access to this information. For example, government ministers at COP, Conference of the Parties, sometimes use our documents to help them understand the topic that they need a refresher on. I'm really looking forward to going to conferences. I'm looking forward to going to Conference of the Parties, to interviewing scientists in person, to seeing my colleagues in person. But I have still really enjoyed this job working from home, and my favorite days are the days when I get to interview scientists. Often I come out of those interviews with quotes or facts that I never would have thought to ask and I definitely didn't expect to get. So those interviews, those chats with people have really opened my eyes and have actually become my favorite part of my job. Although I picked a science path for university, I was always on the lookout for some elusive job that could combine science and writing. And somehow the idea of science journalism just never occurred to me until I started reading Carbon Brief pieces. Climate change is obviously this big humanitarian crisis. It's very messy and complex and wide reaching and affects people. Crucially, it's a, it's a people problem. And so that makes the problem really hard to tackle, obviously but it also makes it really interesting to learn about and research and it gives you such a broad range of voices and people to talk to. My job means that I don't have to specialise into one area. It means that I can find a very specific topic that interests me, spend a few days writing a piece on it, but then publish it and then move on to something completely different. And it means that it keeps me on my toes, I'm able to draw links between different areas of climate change, climate science that I wouldn't have otherwise expected and it's given me opportunities that I don't think I would have gotten from focusing on one very specific area.